Patrick and Kevin are 38-year-old identical twins. When their parents sent them to school, they assumed it was a safe environment. But what they say happened after the school bell rang has tortured them for 30 years. This is very explicit, and it is your choice as parents whether or not your children who are in the room should see this. Cut, go, here it comes. Oh, good grab, good grab, good grab. It's a spinning image of me at that age, my son. My heart aches when I see my son because I feel I don't, I never had a chance. When I see him, I see awesome. that little boy. Patrick and his identical twin brother, Kevin, were in third grade at Catholic school when they became altar boys. They say a priest singled them out. You pull us out of class and say, yeah, I need the, need the twins to do a mass or a funeral. But the eight-year-old boys soon learned the horrible things expected of them. It started with just simple spanking. We'd go over his knee. He'd casually touch our, our, our private parts. The twins say the abuse continued five to seven times a week, sometimes twice a day. And as time progressed, it became more and more horrific. Patrick remembers his terror when he was forced to watch the priest sexually torture his brother. I could see the fear on his face, the pain. I was watching him spank my brother, bend him over his knee, hit him with a paddle, and, and penetrate him with this candle. Sometimes I would try to hide, but there's no hiding. You know, he knew every spot in the rectory. There was no running away from it. They say eventually, the priest forced them to make an incomprehensible choice. He knew our weakness, our love for each other. So I think in his mind, he said, well, I can get off either one of two ways. Either I can do it to him or they can do it to each other. He knew that we didn't want it done from him. So 90% of the time, we would choose each other. He, he made me put the candle penetrate my brother Pat, and vice versa, he would do the same thing to me. And that, the twins say, was not even the worst of their 13 years of hell. Eventually, other priests joined in. There was three, three priests. Duct taped our mouths, duct taped our hands. I just uh, like, opened our legs and I duct taped us to the floor. I can remember smelling alcohol on their breath. And, like, held us against our will and penetrated us. You were gang raped. Absolutely. <laughs> Patrick and Kevin lived to be set free today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being here. Very much.